everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We're back in Disneyland because there's some new food for 2022 and we want to eat it all. We also are going to go on Small World Holiday. Finally, it's our last chance and I'm forcing Peter to go on it with me. <laughs> and there's also some new exciting releases in Galaxy's Edge. So why don't you come with us on this adventure. just an extended seating area for the Harbor Galley restaurant or basically for any restaurants here in the New Orleans Square area. I think when we saw construction on this thing we didn't really or at least I didn't think that there was going to be actually theming here. Like they put a bunch of pelicans and a bunch of information about ships and just a bunch of fun little details that only Disney would do. And it's an awesome view. Like, yeah, look at that! I know. We're like right on the water. First food item that we're trying today is actually from the Harbor Galley. This is the lobster mac and cheese and a sourdough bread bowl. This is just seasoned mac and cheese with lobster inside the amazing bread bowls. This is actually something that's not on the menu, but you can find it on the mobile ordering menu. So it's like kind of a little bit of a secret. And I have yet to try it and it looks so good. Yeah, I don't even like lobster and that looks amazing. Oh my god, it's, it has like these like Cajun spices or something. I don't know, it smells like really flavorful. And on a gloomy kind of overcast day like today, this is I'm sure going to hit the spot. There actually is giant chunks of lobster in this, which I'm surprised by. This is so good. Like this is on par with the lobster nachos. This is on par with the lobster roll that they sell at Harbor Galley. This might be like one of my new favorite things in all of Disneyland. And I feel kind of bad because it is kind of like a secret right now and I'm like telling the whole world and like thousands of people are gonna watch this video, but you guys need to try this. If you like mac and cheese, if you like sourdough, you like lobster, five out of five Kitras, I'm giving this the Ordinary Adventure Star. Has to be done. This is a great way to start our day. I'm surprised that this has a little bit of a spicy kick to it. It's not like your standard Disneyland mac and cheese. It's definitely got a lot of flavor. The best part. <laughs> that is new here that I was super excited to try is at the Mint Julep Bar. And this is the Butter Cookie Mickey Beignets. These have shortbread cookie powdered sugar. And for 89 cents extra, you can get cookie butter dipping sauce. So you know we had to get it. It was only 89 cents extra. I do want to say that we're here on a Monday and the line from the Mint Julep Bar goes all the way around the corner. It's huge. Mobile order is your friend. Disney wants us to all use it. We're gonna have to conform to what they want, I guess. But I'm, I'm excited to try this. Should I try it without the cookie butter? Uh, yeah, try one bite of each. To be honest with you, it doesn't taste much different than a normal Mickey beignet. Okay, dip it in. So let, let's dip it in here. Look at that, it's like very oily. It's hard to describe it. It tastes almost like a gingerbread cookie or like, if you've ever had cookie butter from like Trader Joe's, I was gonna say Trader Sam's. Trader Sam doesn't have cookie butter. We just got Trader Joe's cookie butter. I would absolutely not get these without the cookie butter dipping sauce because they're not sweet enough. I would, I would just go with the normal powdered sugar, but this paired with the cookie butter dipping sauce, fantastic. 
I'll give it a four and a half out of five people. Wow. I think it's starting in the rain. Is it? Oh, no. All right, hurry, eat your beignets. <laughs> How many dips does it take for you to make your beignet? Unlimited. Hold on. Let's find out. Okay. One. <laughs> The number one rule of Mickey shaped beignets is you gotta shake the bag. You didn't shake the bag, so you probably didn't have enough like of that coating on there. I just noticed I got powder like all over the camera. <laughs> Sorry, that's what happens. Tip number two is close the bag so that the powdered yeah. sugar doesn't go everywhere. But see, look at it. Now it's completely covered. Before it's just like on one side. Forget the beignet, just buy this. It's only 89 cents. Yeah, why don't they have a cookie butter churro? With the dipping sauce. This is amazing. This combo is good. I'd probably give it a five out of five, honestly, but only with the dip. What is cookie butter even? Like, I feel like until five <laughs> years ago, it didn't exist, and then Trader Joe's made it up, and now everybody loves cookie butter. Yeah, have you ever had the cookie butter ice cream from Trader Joe's? No. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I love it. And now we're gonna head to Galaxy's Edge because I know we were just there earlier this week, but they have some new food and some new merch that we we gotta go check out. I mean, we are ordinary adventurers after all. It wouldn't be a vlog unless we went to Galaxy's Edge. There's some wood carvings available. Um, can we tell everyone? No, uh, he says it's a secret at this time. Uh, we yeah. might have to investigate later, yes. <laughs> I do apologize about that. <laughs> His lips are sealed though, yes. Ever since Galaxy's Edge first opened, people have been clamoring for the Savi's Workshop lightsabers. And we've been wondering, when are they gonna introduce new pieces, new themes? They haven't released a new type of lightsaber over at Savi's yet, but you can now get some new pieces. We have learned that you can get some carvings that go well with your elemental nature or any of the Savi's lightsabers, but I think it fits the elemental light nature a little bit more. But over in the creature stall, you can get yourself these two carvings for I think a limited time. They have a Rancor and they have a Loath Cat. And the cool thing is these go at the end of your lightsaber and there's actually some holes there so that you can still hear the sounds the lightsaber comes through. If you open it up, there's actually room inside there. So if you wanted to, it could be used to hide I don't know, some spice, some space spice, space, uh, some kyber crystals, something. <laughs> oh, you know. that's a good idea. Yeah. And also it comes with this, this cap. So you could just like have it on your shelf as like a statue or something if you wanted to. I mean, Rancors are back in style because of the Book of Boba Fett. I think these are both cool. Look at how cool that is. Yeah, they're awesome. So I think these might've been carved by the Wookiee wood carver. Yeah. I'm not sure if they would look cool on a lightsaber that's not elemental nature, but I need both of them, right? Yeah, I, we need them. Found this brand new uh, limited edition pin. The cool thing about this is one side it's the blue milk, one side it's the green milk. Which one are you gonna choose? I'm gonna choose blue. I'm gonna choose green. Depending pin. on what my mood is. Some days it's blue, most days it's green. I'm, I'm very indecisive, as you can tell. So I just ran into a resident of Batu who showed me an Easter egg I have never heard of before. If you're in the marketplace and you look up at the archway and you look really, really closely, you'll see what he described as a hidden womp rat, but we call on Earth a hidden Mickey. Over at Cat Sockus Kettle, they have some brand new flavored grains. This time it's the banana mixed with strawberry. This is the new Outpost mix. I've tried the banana popcorn over there. I love it. I've tried the chocolate popcorn. I love it, love it. How about the strawberry banana popcorn? Is it gonna be as good? That is the question here, people. It looks good. Look at how awesome this looks. Like this is very photogenic, if I do say so. It almost looks like flaming hot Cheeto popcorn or something, <laughs> but I think it's I not. I would prefer that to strawberry. But it's strawberry, so let's get a nice piece mixed with the banana, because that's how you got to do it. I feel like nobody really talks about the popcorn in Galaxy's Edge, and it is so good. This is another winner 
I don't think it's as good as the ones that I just mentioned, but it is dang good. It has that like real artificial strawberry kind of flavor. It almost tastes like the strawberry Nesquik, but it's still really good mixed with the banana. I don't think I would like it as much like by itself. Do you think it would have been better if it was mixed with the chocolate, like chocolate banana? I mean, chocolate uh, strawberry? Strawberry, yeah. This is good though. This like, it's, it's like a four out of five Kitris. I like it. Ray! Have you tried the new strawberry grains at Katsaka's? I haven't. I haven't been them. No, have you? Yeah, they're pretty good. You like them? Very good. You can chew it. I don't know. Trick question. He's always hungry. <laughs> yeah, I once saw him at Ronto's. He was like trying to steal like a tray of. I mean, I did buy an extra bag for Chewy if you wanted one. I could share. <laughs> or I could just eat it myself. I haven't seen him around, you know, so I think he'd like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a strange creature there. Hey, R2. Have you tried the new uh, the, the strawberry popcorn? Yeah, he doesn't really have a mouth. Do you know where Chewy is? I think he would really like it. Oh, yeah. He was working on the Moylean Falcon. Oh, okay, that, that seems know. like it'd be a good place to find him. I bought two bags. Toys don't need popcorn, Peter. What are you thinking? <laughs> you know, we're here a lot, but I always get flustered when we when we run into a celebrity like R2. I was like, uh, uh, blueberry, strawberry, uh, I couldn't even talk. There are two new cold brews here at Disneyland Resort, and we're gonna put them to an epic battle showdown royale. We call this the Ordinary Adventure Cold Brew Smackdown. <laughs> First up, at Rancho Del Zacalo, we have the Horchata Cold Brew. This is just horchata mixed with cold brew with whipped cream and cinnamon on top. Contender number one. Looks pretty promising. Some might say. But I am, you know what? I'm an aficionado of cold brew. Thank you for bringing it up. I love me a good cold brew. Especially one with lots of sugar in it. <laughs> Ooh. This tastes like a milkshake. This tastes like a coffee cinnamon melted milkshake. Wow. This is really good. I don't know how the other one is gonna beat this because we're off to an amazing start here. How does this compare to the one in Galaxy's Edge? Mm. Yes, so in Galaxy's Edge at Docking Bay 7, they have a cold brew with like cocoa puffs on top and like a sweet cream cheese. This is better. It's better only because it's sweeter. The one in Galaxy's Edge doesn't have that much sweetness to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. This gets a five out of five. So hopefully they keep it on the menu forever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring contestant number two from Hungry Bear Restaurant. We have the Honey Cream Cold Brew. Boo! Wait, 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 wait a second, it's supposed to be a Snickerdoodle cold brew. Okay, so they were supposed to have a Snickerdoodle cold brew. And I thought it would be a good competition because horchata kind of has that cinnamony taste and the Snickerdoodle has that cinnamon taste. But then we came here and they were like, sorry, that doesn't come out until Thursday, even though it's on the menu and it's on the mobile order and it's when I ring you out on the receipt, it still says that. But we do have this honey cream cold brew and I was like, I've never tried that. So we might as well have them go head to head and battle it out still. Because I can never have enough coffee at Disneyland. Is that right? <laughs> I just feel like that. I'm not sure if this is a, a fair fight. It's like a lightweight against the heavyweight. Who knows? This could be amazing. Oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. Yeah, little, <laughs> Kitra does not need more coffee, that's for sure. So by the time you guys are watching this video, uh, the snickerdoodle will probably be on the menu here and you should get it and then message us and let us know how it is. Or leave it in the comments if you tried it, because it sounds amazing. The, the cashier even told me that they might put like a, a cookie, like a snickerdoodle cookie, like on it or in it or something. I was like, oh man. But you know, no shade to uh to honey cream. Still got a fighting chance. Okay, yeah. This is delicious, but no question, it's a knockout. 
horchata wins, hands down. Wait, was this whole many, segment as funny as I thought it was going to be? Uh, this still probably gets like a, a four out of five. It's like, it's a very nice, rich cold brew. Very strong. Uh, not quite as sweet as the other one. And just like a hint of that honey cream. So if you like your drinks, like, not as sweet, maybe try this one. And if you, well, actually you can't because it's going off the menu by the time you guys watch this video. This was an epic fail. I never stood a chance, cold brew. I never even stood a chance. We're already born to lose. I hate to break it to you. And I got the red velvet funnel cake. This is served with cheesecake filling, vanilla ice cream, and whipped cream. And I'm not sure if you know this, but I am a connoisseur of red velvet. So this, I don't know, I'm just so excited to try this. And also, we should mention that it's positioned in a, in a way that it looks like Mickey's on top because it's Disney. The weird thing is it said vanilla ice cream, but that doesn't look like vanilla ice cream. That's definitely strawberry ice cream, not vanilla. So, oh, really? So I'm not sure what happened there, but it's good. I think what makes it... Wow, this dang train! <laughs> the train keeps on trying to, to ruin all my takes today. What makes this is the cream cheese filling, the cheesecake filling, whatever it is. I think it's cheesecake filling. It's very, very sweet. This is like very decadent. Because I mobile ordered it, I think the funnel cake was sitting underneath the like heat lamp for a little bit, so it's a little crispy. You really want your funnel cake to be like hot and the ice cream to be like melting on top of it. That's not how it came today. But I can imagine if, if you got it hot out of the, you know, the fryer, this might even be a five out of five feeders. But I'm gonna give this a four out of five feeders. It is good, it's just not like as good as what was that one when we got like the pumpkin cheesecake funnel cake. That was the best funnel cake I've ever had in my entire life. That was the best one we've had here, for sure. <laughs> but if you want something for like the gram, you want something for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, this yeah. is totally for Valentine's yeah. Day. I didn't even think of that. So good. So basically we're only choosing to eat at places where we can sit by the river today and watch the canoes. I didn't hear what you said. Something about a river? So we didn't really get to come to Disney around the holiday time and we didn't get to ride Small World Holiday but they are keeping it up a few weeks after Christmas. I think until the end of January. So it's now finally our chance to ride Small World Holiday. Do we have to? You like it, right? <laughs> it, it's cute. I love it. That was super cool. I've never seen that before. N now we don't have to go on Small World, right? No, we're we're still going on Small World. Get out of here. <laughs> we're right here.
happy we got to go on it before it changes back to the normal small world. I love small world holiday. I stand behind it. It's awesome. I got a little emotional because I was like thinking of the holidays and thinking of my mom. And I love that ride. <laughs> Look at this duck. Keeps on ducking into the water. That would be me if I was a duck. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? He loves it. He's like, I'm at Disneyland. <laughs> Which one is good luck? Over the right shoulder or over the left shoulder? I didn't even know that Should you I had to both? throw it out over Should the shoulder. I, I thought both? you just put it in. Should I do them both? Sure. What if one of them is bad luck? Which one is it? I don't know. I'm doing them both. I wish that 2020 is going to be the best year ever. Did you say 2020? 2022. Okay. I wish that 2022 is going to be the best year ever. We had plans to eat and drink so much more than we have today, but Disneyland spits in the face of your plans almost every single time. But we're going to head over to Disney California Adventure and get one last thing that's new for 2022. Our final food item tonight is from the Pacific Wharf over in Disney California Adventure. And this is the cherry cheesecake bread pudding. This is a graham cracker flavored bread pudding with cheesecake filling topped with glazed cherries, whipped cream, and crushed graham crackers. When Peter first told me about this, I wasn't like initially sold until he read the description to me and I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. Some might even say that I am an aficionado of maraschino cherries. I used to just eat them like straight out of the jar when I was a kid. Who thought of this? Geniuses. So the bread pudding itself is nice and warm and like creamy and delicious mixed with all the flavors of just like a traditional cherry cheesecake. That whipped cream on top. It's like a little bit of that graham cracker flavor mixed in. I think this is perfection. <laughs> I, it's so funny that I didn't want this and now I'm like, this is amazing. Those maraschino cherries are so good. Five out of five, this is delicious. If you like cheesecake and you like bread pudding, especially if you like these cherries, come get this. Why aren't the ducks here dunking their heads in? Is that something you only do if you're like a Disneyland duck? <laughs> and by the way, why are the like the buoy Christmas trees still up? What are they, ordinary adventures? Yeah, who are they? <laughs> ordinary adventures? Why are they copying us? <laughs> I miss our tree. Me too, we should have never taken it down. Last week we were here at Disney California Adventure. We weren't filming a video, but we did edit some of that into our daily vlogs on Patreon. But the clip of Kitra going on the Pixar Pal Around, Mickey's Fun Wheel, whatever you call it, it's too good not to share with you, so. Yeah, so the clip speaks for itself. We're finally gonna go on Pixar Pal Around. I've been wanting to go on this for like months and months and months. Finally, we're going to go on it. Are you excited? Of course. I'm excited when you're excited. Aww. I feel like you used to be so scared of this. I know, I am scared, but I'm just, I, it's been so long since we've been on this, I'm just very excited. Because the ones that swing are less scary than the ones that don't swing. Pro tip. I'm not sure if that's true, but... Are you ready? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 
I don't think Kitra has screamed this much in a night at Halloween Horror Nights. I'm parched. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scream that much. Yeah. Guys. I'm good. We don't have to go on this for a while. I, I satisfied my craving. I don't remember it being this scary last time, so I'm good. We're going to be back here in less than a week for the Lunar New Year celebration. So if you aren't subscribed, please hit subscribe below. And if you haven't seen our video, or the video where I build my elemental lightsaber, we'll put that video right over here. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Aaron Snyder, Aaron and Alan, Boris Buehling, and Jose Gonzalez. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.